Hey guys, welcome to another segment of What's Your Issue with myself, Bernice. Onisha. Wow. Anyways, so today, guys, we just thought we'll do something exciting and a little bit different. Um, so we decided to hit up some ice cream parlors within the city uh, just to see. For me personally, I haven't been to uh, the two places that we did hit. So I wanted to try their ice cream, see how the overall experience of the place is, their price. Um, and is it some place where the kid friendly, couple friendly, family friendly, and all of that. And then lastly, we'll give you guys our more my take on how their ice cream was. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first place that we hit up was Dutch Dreams. Personally, I uh, okay. The whole the environment wasn't really like for me it just seemed a bit cluttered and kind of like messy <laughs> yeah but i think that's probably aesthetic though because it's very it's it's very um chichki but everything around that is homage to like the dutch culture oh, okay, okay so and it's very it, it hits you in the face like it's not something that you'll if you walk in you'll know right and yeah so it is okay. it is clutter in the sense that there's a lot of stuff happening yeah um there are a lot of things in the th in the place um and that's how it's always been that's how the the location's always been it's been there for quite some time so it's old you know oh okay because when i walked in there i was kind of expecting this you know dainty less cluttered whatever but you're expecting like a typical ice cream parlor yeah but those are everywhere and they're boring i yeah. think the thing with with this place is that that's part of the charm right yeah. that and how their ice cream is mm -hmm. is how is why people keep going right yeah, yeah that's true for so for my first time it wasn't too bad so in terms of the overall aesthetic like the environment wasn't bad um in terms of it being what's it called couple friendly kids friendly family friendly all of that is possible um they do have like a little patio mm -hmm. where you guys can sit talk whatever after you get your ice cream mm -hmm. so I like that aspect. The only thing I didn't really like, it was kind of close to the streets. Um, but, and if you're driving, parking. It's but, literally on the side of the road. Yeah, like that's a bit, you know, for kids yeah. and whatever. But um, customer service wise, they were pretty good. Um, I asked the girl, I was like, oh, can you recommend like one of your, I guess, their most popular brand of mm -hmm. ice cream? So she told me to try the Batsa uh, Cupboard. Which I was like, oh, what is that? So basically, that really just consists of um, vanilla, um, peanut butter, peanut um, butter marble, vanilla cookie dough, and brownies. Um, so this one is called the Butza Cupboard, which is what I have here. It's not too bad. I'm not a big fan of peanut butter, so I just found that the peanut butter was a bit much. But if you like peanut butter and whatever, definitely try it. It wasn't too bad at all. Um, and the price wasn't bad either. It was like $6 and this is a small, it's like five eighty nine. So it's within my price range. So would I recommend it? Yes. Nisha, what do you think? Um, yeah, I would for sure. Um, because I think part of the charm of that place is depending on what you, they like, they, their ice cream can be a bit over the top, mm -hmm. depending on the type of cone you get. They have lots of options. They have like waffle cones, regular cones, um, waffle bowls. You could buy it in containers. Like there's so many options, and every what regardless of what you buy, you'll get fruits with mm -hmm. it. They give you fruits, and they give you whipped cream, and they give you like um yeah um cotton candy and yeah. like um waffle pieces, and that's regardless of what ice cream you decide to get. So yeah, I think that's part of the great the great experience. So if you want something like that, um, it's worth going. If you buy a cone, you're gonna have to remember that it's it's gonna be extravagant. Yeah, it's gonna drip. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not in that messy type of situation, um, that's going to be a problem. But like, that's part of the reason why I get ice cream anyway, right? Yeah, um, and even when you get a cup, like even as small as the cup it looks, it overflows. Yeah. So it's not like they packed it down in the little cup and you can't. It's a large amount of ice cream, I think. Yeah. I don't like, um, I like ice cream, but I can't have dairy. I have issues with that. But occasionally I'll have ice cream there and... Well, occasionally when I want ice cream, that's usually the place that I think mm -hmm. to get it, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So it's a spot for you then? Well, it's a summer thing. They're open, actually, the whole year round, which is amazing. Um, but occasionally, it's worth 
taking one summer trip there. Oh, okay. I didn't, see, I didn't even know it's open uh, all year round. So yeah. that's a good thing. It's too. like winter is still open and people go. So it's it's there. It's not going anywhere. So it seems to be a, a hip and happening spot then it's, for the most part. That's what it is. It's one of the most popular, um, I think, ice cream parlor in the city, really. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it cool. is a place I would try again. Um, even like maybe next time just to sit outside and really take it in and have I mean, that experience. I mean, like the ambiance is nice or whatnot, you know? Yeah. So it's, I mean, why not? Definitely a hit. Uh, so moving on, our next place that we went to was called La, La Palomo. La Paloma. La Paloma. Yeah. La Paloma. La Paloma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I need to learn to speak. Pro what? What is it? Enunciate. Enunciate. <laughs> oh, my okay. So this one, I ended up getting the Sicilian pistachio, which is what like just assortment of nuts. You know, and this is what they're more of like a sorbet type of sorbet. Gelato. Gelato, sorry. A gelato. And so when you order, um, for this one, when I ordered it, you get a mixture of two for the price of one. No, so you ordered two scoops. I ordered two scoops, but they give you a complimentary other um Oh, is that gelato. like a summer is that a summer special? No, they just have two scoops for I guess. Because they had one they had small is one scoop, medium is two, two scoops, and, yeah. and large is three scoops. I think maybe that's just how they sell it. So you got a medium. I got a medium, yeah. Okay, so you got a medium. Yeah, so on top of getting the Sicilian um, pistachio, this one is called the Basi Truffle. Um, it's pretty good. I've never been to La Paloma before, especially the one in Yardale. I haven't been to any other franchises, actually. So I didn't mind it. Um, I just didn't like the Basi Truffle. I thought that combination would have been happening with like mm. the taste buds nisha but uh, yeah. see i'm for the, i'm not a bit like i like ice cream but i prefer my ice cream in the winter time that's just me ice cream in the winter yes yes i don't like when it's dripping and runny and then in the um, summertime the ice cream melts like if you like that but i like my ice cream in the winter time i don't mind the coal and the coal oh, so okay. for me it's like it's not a thing yeah. in the summer it's like mm -hmm, okay it's gonna be summer is hot it's gonna be hot you're gonna have to eat it faster than you want to i think that you don't enjoy it as much unless you like licking all over your hands and all point. that well not everybody likes that though like yeah, i think that's true. great for kids and people who are in love and want to lick on each other <laughs> but like for, <laughs> for me no i don't like liquid dripping down my fingers i think it's just gross okay. but that's me <laughs> Um, so as a, that, I've been to La Paloma for someone who doesn't eat dairy. I've been to lots of ice. Yeah. Places. That's kind of weird. For I a do person. because I, I, I do. I like, I, as I said, I, in the wintertime, if I have a feeling for ice cream, I'll go, I'll, yeah. I'll go. I don't mind. But, um, usually I get the pistachio and that's mm -hmm. consistently, consistently what I've always liked from them. I don't try anything else cause I don't like to do chocolate flavored ice cream. Why is um, that? I don't, don't, I don't like, like it. it. No, mm -hmm. because it's just too much, too much chocolate just get too yeah, overpowering. And yeah. this is the good, I don't know. I can't, I, maybe for other people, it's like the best thing ever mm. to be sitting there eating all that chocolate goodness. But for me, it's like a little bit and that's okay. But I agree with you, especially with this Nisha, the chocolate kind of overpowered. First of all, that looks like shit. Yeah, um, can you? Hey, girly. so gross. In that. Wow. It's like, really bad ugh. analogy. Mm, I don't look good at all, especially right now. <laughs> Um, it tasted better just the Sicilian um, pistachio, but uh, yeah, yeah. So let's just overall, um, what's it called? Environment. It's in Yorkdale, so it's it's in a mall. Yeah, it's so it, you're surrounded by other food courts, and yeah, other um, it's a lot places. Of I mean, the benefit is that there there are a lot of seating, yeah, and you can go wherever. But also, this is like a franchise, right? So yeah. it's like they're there there are a, a few of them in other few places and because it's a franchise the aesthetic of each place is going to be different be different right? yes exactly so, exactly you know that's just that whereas the other place it's there's not it's not a franchise it's just in that one location and what that's just their general aesthetic definitely regardless. so yes it being in a mall it is you can't bring your girlfriend your child family you can do all of that just depending on the day and who you want to go with and what you're doing um in terms of the pricing i found that this um la palemo palema sorry is a little bit expensive than um dutch dreams 
Yeah, but, two dollars more. <laughs> no, but I think it depends again on what you get. I mean, if you were comparing a small from La Paloma to, to a small, yeah, to a small in Dutch Dreams, what's a what's how much was a small for Dutch Dreams? A small. This is a small. How much does it cost? Uh, this one is five. And the small from La Paloma is five dollars as well. I think so. Yeah, because yeah, it's one scoop, right? Okay. So it's. I think their prices are similar around the same range. Yeah, yeah, but. but. Um, Me being cheap, I just thought like the five eighty nine was a little. It just sounds good in my head, but yeah, that's but that, just, but for, that's for small compared to medium. Yeah, right? that's so true. So we have to think about that. Yeah, as that's well. true. Yeah. Um, customer service wise, they were good. Um, the girl was very helpful um, in terms of helping me decide which ice cream I should try from there. Again, being a first time uh, customer. Uh, so in terms of price, Nisha and I did just talked about it. They're pretty much around the same, so it's not. You know, you're not going to be breaking your pockets. I mean, it depends on what you get. Yeah, that's true, too. Because if you get, like, at um, Dutch Rooms, you don't have the option to get in a cone. Everything's in a cup. Yeah. So, not Sorry, not Dutch Rooms. At La Paloma. Yeah, everything's in a cup. Everything's in a cup, right? Whereas Dutch Rooms, you have the option to get in cones or in waffle cones or regular mm -hmm. cones. So it really depends on what you decide to get. And yeah. That will, that will tell you um, how much it's going to cost, right? Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm not really feeling this combination, so it's not a combination that I will definitely be doing again. I'll just probably just stick to a vanilla or something that I'm used to, so definitely no. But overall, I really did enjoy this experience because, like I said, I haven't really branched off into Dutch Dreams or I pass by this place all the time in the mall and I've never really stopped, so this was nice to kind of see how their desserts taste especially the ice creams um so hopefully you guys enjoyed our little segment of you know the two some of the best ice cream places i guess in toronto that you guys can check out for the summer if you're not doing anything you're bored or if you're in the city yeah if you're in the city all right so hope you guys like this little segment like subscribe and share and we'll see you guys later